guys, welcome back to Bully Outdoors. So today, we are attempting to fish, catching the first fish of 2024. I don't know if I caught any, actually, yeah I did, I caught, I caught some blue gallery a couple weeks ago. So it won't be the first fish, but what I'm aiming for, so I brought my pocket rod. Crush and some other lures. So I'm throwing a, uh, a spinner right now, chartreuse with a uh, uh, Guggen dart for the trailer. Which I'm on my way to the pond that I'm going to. There is some other ponds, so I decided to toss while I'm walking. Not nothing, not a darn thing in there in those ponds I came by. But I know there's bluegill for sure and crappie the guy i spoke to like the worker for the location maintenance or whatever you want to call them i'm really not sure what his job was but he was driving a city of ankeny car or via truck so then i just stopped by and i talked with him i was like hey where did he, he go here and he said uh i really don't know but I'm pretty sure there's a uh, bluegill, crappie, and bass. I asked him, is there anything else? Catfish, uh, carp, or anything like that? He's like, I have no idea. But I know that we just put some uh, some crappie in there. So I'm like, oh, all right. So now I am making my way that way. And I will see you at the pond. All right, guys. We're at the pond. I just missed a uh, a fish right there. He he bit, but he didn't stay on. I don't know how big it was. It wasn't too big. It was probably a pound less than that. Maybe it was a smaller one. But anyway, I don't know what this lake or this pond is named. I think it's like Wagner or something like that. I I don't remember what it is. But uh, let's set up the camera and uh, let's see if we can get something to bite. Alrighty. Let's get the micro rod ready. The micro rod. Put some new line on there and everything. It's, it's all ready to go. Brought my worms. Put a giant bobber. All right, I don't know exactly how much feet that is. That's like three and a half, no, two, two and a half feet I gave from the bobber, so. Wish me luck. I don't really know how much line is on here. I put as much as I could. As much as I could fit on there. Probably like 50 yards. Less than 100 for sure. Alright, here's the moment of truth, guys. Alright, well. Bobber doesn't have to be that high, apparently. Maybe that high. Two, about two feet. Yeah, I'll put it at two feet. My hooks might be too big for these little guys. Let me try a smaller hook. I brought smaller hooks. These guys are pretty darn small, so. And maybe I'll take off the bobber, put a weight on, like a little, little uh, split shot. Here they are. So, I don't know if you can, can see it, but the comp the comparison like you can't you can't really see it because like but anyway like much smaller is what i'm trying to get at wind is getting a little a little feisty now i mean it's been feisty but it's getting I love living in this state. I really do. I love Iowa. I really, really do. But, um, I don't like this wind. This is, uh, really, really ruins the experience. There it is. You can see it. Little hooky. 
Yep, gonna have to add weight. No, I did I not for did I forget the weights? Darn it, I did. Shoot. Just have to make do, I guess. Oh, I got one. <laughs> The little hook change up made a good difference. Hey, hey, calm yourself. Calm yourself. Got another one. Definitely a good, a good idea to change out that hook. Cause look, we got another one. A little bit smaller, but still got it. Oh, this one. I think this one swallowed it a little bit more. Darn it. It's alright. I brought my degorgers <clears throat> for this specific reason. Now, where is that bad boy? Here it is. I think that's three now. Alright, now that we know that they're catching. Now that, this, now that we know that this hook catches, let's throw, let's throw a little bit more worm on there. And, you know what? Let's toss this back on there. Since we have a, a better chance of catching something. I think this is more like five, right? Little tiny fellas. All right, let's throw on another worm. Or some more worm, I mean. Oh, they robbed me! Oh my god. Little sh buggers are good. No! They got me again! What am I? I'm putting it on like a sock. You know what I mean? Like. Uh, how are they getting me? Oh, let's take this back off because for some reason I'm not catching fish with it. Check this guy out. Got another one. Yeah, it's better without the bobber. Much better without the bobber. I love bluegill fishing. Even though these are really small, they're very fun. Because they're so aggressive. No, oh, he took it! A nice fatty, like a real nice fatty. Real nice fatty took it, jeez. That's like seven or eight now, probably. Turtles. Did you freaking gorge it? Yes, you did. Of course you did, you piggy. There we go. Ah, oh, it fell off. That was a nice fatty, too. Like a nice fatty. Oh, a tiny one this time. That last one was a fatty. Fatty, fatty. Oh, this guy didn't even get this guy didn't even get hooked on the mouth. I mean, he got hooked on the mouth, but on the outside, so foul hooked. Ah, oh, nice, nice, fatty. Come here, you little fatty. Another one. Let's bring you to the action. There we go. All right, there you go. See them now? Wow, there's some big blueies down there. Big blue gillies. <sighs> Camera turned off, so I don't know how much of that you got. But anyway, I moved to throwing the crush once again with a... Uh, a swim bait 
that I got from uh, Outdoors with Shrade last year with Shrades. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, <clears throat> my phone kept turning off for some reason, so I didn't get my uh, my outro and everything at the actual water. So now I'm making it now. So hope you guys enjoyed that. That uh, I know there weren't giant, giant bluegill, but. Uh, I caught I caught quite a few uh, bluegill that day, and uh, it's about two days later now. I went it yesterday, which I went there with with my uh, GoPros, and one of them I forgot to freaking put an SD card in, so I didn't get a lot of footage. So amateur hour, amateur hour, and. Uh, uh, I hope you didn't mind that wind. It was a little bit windy in the beginning, but as soon as I put the mic on, it kind of eased up a little bit. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you did, hit the like button and make sure to subscribe so you can get some more uh, awesome videos coming, as well as motivating me to even do more videos. If you hit the uh, subscribe button, hit the like button. Even if you share, that'd be pretty damn awesome, guys. All right, well, like I always say, keep on hunting, keep on fishing, and always, always keep on ripping lips, guys. All right, I'll see you in the next one.